Hi, I'm Kevin Rapp, Curator of Modern European Books and Manuscripts at Beinecke Library. The Modern European Collection at Beinecke Library encompasses thousands of rare books and manuscripts alongside original works of art, prints, photographs, and audio and visual recordings documenting the history and culture of continental Europe since 1800. In addition to traditional strengths in literature, art, and philosophy, the collection covers the social and political history of Europe from revolutionary struggles for freedom and equality in the 19th century, through imperialist projects of colonization, to the wars and atrocities of the 20th century, the rise of totalitarian regimes, and movements of resistance. More recent additions to the collection have focused on European society and culture after the Second World War, the impact of the Holocaust, decolonization, and the emergence of a thriving culture of protest in post-war Europe. Issues of race, class, and gender, questions of violence, oppression, and the power of the state, always central to the history and culture of modern Europe, continue to shape landscapes of creative expression as we enter a new millennium. One of the cornerstones of the 19th century holdings are the Yale Tocqueville manuscripts. The core of this collection documents the American journey of Alexis de Tocqueville and Gustave de Beaumont in 1831-32, along with the creative aftermath of that journey. Tocqueville's Democracy in America and Beaumont's Marie, or Slavery in the United States. In addition to notes and manuscripts for both works, the collection includes sketches, notebooks, and letters filled with vivid impressions of American society, including encounters with indigenous peoples, racial inequality, and slavery, contradictions in American democracy that soon erupted into open conflict in the Civil War. Other major literary holdings for the 19th century include the William A. Speck collection of Goetheana, the Renzo Bonfiliolo collection of Romantic and Risorgimento Italy, and strong holdings of Golden and Silver Age Russian authors. On the manuscript side, Beinecke has a substantial collection of papers from the family estate of George Sand, archives of the early symbolist poet Louisa Sifer, and over 11,000 letters sent to Camille Doucet, administrative head of French theater by playwrights and artists from a wide spectrum of late 19th century literary culture. Spanning the 19th and 20th centuries, the Alfred Heller Collection of World's Fairs traces the evolution of industrial arts in Europe alongside visions of social progress, nationalist competition, and imperialist agendas of conquest. Racialized views of colonial subjects are graphically documented in this unique collection. Focusing on the European colonial presence in Africa, several large photographic collections document the race for global hegemony and its impact on indigenous peoples. Instances of slavery, forced labor, war, and atrocities are depicted alongside more complex interactions. The use of local culture and ethnography, the use of indigenous troops, urban planning, and colonial infrastructure. The turbulent political history of 20th century Europe is well represented. Available online on Beinecke's digital library, a collection of Russian satirical magazines illustrates the alliance of avant-garde art and political radicalism that emerged in the Russian Revolution of 1905. Many of the same artists went on to support the Bolshevik Revolution. Collections of Russian futurists, constructivists, and suprematists are a major strength of the library's 20th century collection. Beinke has extensive holdings of the European avant-garde, including the Peter Eisenman Collection of Modernism in Architecture, Design, and the Fine Arts, the Yedermann Collection of Dada and Surrealism, the Max Ernst Library, and the papers of F.T. Marinetti, founder of the Italian Futurist Movement. Marinetti's close ties with Italy's fascist regime, well documented in the papers, highlight the complex politics of European modernism. Avant-garde writers and artists fought on both right and left in struggles that ended with the rise of totalitarian regimes in Italy, Germany, and the Soviet Union. Literary and philosophical responses of a different kind can be explored in the archives of emigres to America who fled totalitarian regimes. Hermann Broch, Thomas Mann, modernist publishers Kurt and Helen Wolf, and the philosopher Ernst Kassir from Germany, Joseph Brodsky, Czesław Miłosz, and many others from the Soviet Union and the Eastern Bloc. The trauma of war and Holocaust also left deep marks on those who remained behind in Europe. Existentialist Jean-Paul Sartre, Simone de Beauvoir, and Albert Camus are just a few of the engaged writers whose work can be explored at Beinecke. Post-war artists like Isidore Izou, the founder of Letterism, and the sound poet Henri Chopin, 
developed creative and defiant responses to the experience of war and Holocaust in Eastern Europe. Growing collections of the post-war avant-garde and European protest culture include the archives of revolutionary surrealism, the letters poets Maurice Lemaitre and Gilles Wohlmann, and numerous situationist writers and artists. The papers of Jacqueline de Jong, Raoul Van Egem, Mustafa Kayati, Gianfranco Sanguinetti, Michel Bernstein, and others form one of the world's strongest collections of the situationist movement. Other movements represented include visual and sound poetry, happenings, performance art, Dutch provos, Italian beats, and German communards. All played a role in shaping tactics of art and protest that came together in the Paris uprisings of 1968. These are particularly well represented by two large collections of May 68 posters, many of them available online. The collection also documents protest culture as it continued to develop after 1968, supporting more inclusive visions of liberation and struggles by feminists, gay, lesbian, and transsexual rights activists, environmentalists, and many other causes. The diversity of 1970s protest culture is abundantly illustrated in several large collections of underground magazines and photographs documenting Italy's Movement 77 and the West German Student Movement. Holdings of East German Zamistat and the John P. Jacob Collection likewise document a thriving culture of underground art and performance that continued well after the collapse of the Soviet Union in Eastern Europe. As I hope this survey conveys, the breadth, depth, and diversity of the modern European collection are truly remarkable. I hope you will ins feel inspired to join exploring this material, whether online in the digital library or in person here at Beinecke. All are welcome. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, Curator of Modern European Books and Manuscripts at kevin.rep at yale.edu. I look forward to hearing from you.